Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Here is Karen. Um, I had had a lot of fun to dye uh, to dye this paper here. All this beautiful, yummy paper I dyed with um, various of um, natural dye. Some very a few I dyed with um this uh, acrylic ink but um for me it was very too vibrant so just a drop and you see a lot and um, i show you that in the end how it came out this paper and this beautiful fabric and lace and cheesecloth and whatever so stay tuned um today i will dye some papers and some doilies some fabric and whatnot so I thought I'd bring you with me. I will dye with tea, with um, onions, uh, red onion skin. And now I begin with the tea, that's hibiscus tea made. Yeah, it's, that's, that's in German, I know. With hibiscus, hagebutte, I don't know how it's called, but you see that here. That's hagebutte. Yeah, and it's a very beautiful red color. So, and I thought I put some in the bottle here to spray, and I will make prints with that. Um, this doilies, uh, by the way, these are from my this was from my grandma here, she made themselves so special. <laughs> So, and, and I will begin with the papers, and for dry, I will may, um, put them in the oven, but of course not so hot. So, let's see. And I don't have a lot of space here, maybe you see that, but I hope you see everything, maybe a little bit. Now I put the paper in and also I have here a gla glass with the tea bags in it so I don't waste that. I will put them over the paper so I, ooh that's a beautiful red, look that, oh. and I will push that, make the pa paper wet. Like the bucket method that I made last year, maybe two years ago, I don't know. Maybe I should turn it over first and then. And that's copy paper here, normal copy paper. I have also a little bit thicker paper. Let's put some doilies that I already used for, not used, um, put away. Some I will do with prints and some I will do only spritzing a little bit. Let's see. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Now let's put the other paper and then I, I will let it soak. I don't use all paper because I want to make also the onion skin. Let's put over this, fold over the doily here. I love mm, the smell it I love this tea also for drinking so let's put another paper over it and then I will put them in the oven like it is because of that I will spritz them so it dries a little bit quicker 
in the oven and I make not so much um, layers try to make not too much layers uh, maybe for this let's put them over here mm, that's beautiful smell mm, love it <laughs> now let's take a little bit a thicker paper it's 120 GSM I think a little bit thicker here. And I don't mind if there are wrinkles up. You can put them under uh, under heavyweight books, or you can also iron them. But I don't like to iron. I like that wrinkles, that gives that beautiful imprint. And also this I will try to put over it and also index cards or something. Let's split it. An index card. Oh, that, that was two. And no, I leave it like this and I put this over. Now, I leave a little bit to soak this one. See you later. Let's try something else um, until the paper is dry in the oven or a little dry. <laughs> Let's put only like this tea paper over it, a uh, tea bag, and that's the spritz of the only a little bit. Maybe I should do some splat splatters. And maybe I should do some and then another paper. No, oh, I make it like this. Then Maybe I should take a spoon. Let's spoon it on. It's very concentrated. I put a lot of tea bags in it. So we'll see how it turns out. I'm I have to surprise myself too. So um, another paper, but maybe uh, like this. tracing paper. Ooh, <laughs> I love that. Um, let's try another tea bag. Whoops. I love that wrinkles on the tracing paper. Let's leave it like this. And now, now I have to wait. This one, this other one was a little bit too big. But I have to put first the pap uh, paper. And I will put also the onion skin in. Let's see what we've got then after. Now, what we've got here. I 
I love to experiment with the with the dyes, with the natural dyes, I should say. Um, and let's spritz a little bit more, just to see. And um, now let's put this one on top. One of the tag. And cards, index cards. And another paper. Maybe a tracing paper. And I spritz always um, both sides and because that I didn't. Let's put some. And I will also um, try to dye with um, acrylic inks. I bought some colors and maybe I will put some drops over the top later but first I want to make the pure the only one color and then we see let's put another doily top Papers. And let's put some leaves, um, some onion leaves in to see. Um, but first I want to put another paper. anymore oh here <laughs> now I have to spread oops I have to spread them let's see what it does it's dried very fast oh, other things I think maybe you can take it out after a half an hour I think or you can take the the paper on top away and so it can dry underneath It's empty. I have to fill it up. Let's fill it a little bit up here. Try to not Try to not um, fill in the leaves, so, oops. Now, 
let's try this again and I put nothing in it um, vinegar or alum or I think it works also without the because I'm, I don't want the color such vibrant so oh that's a beautiful heart really here Sorry, now you see a little bit better. Now, some of this, maybe. And the cheesecloth, or oh, whatever this is. Paper over the top. I think the um, fabric it will dry, don't dry such fast as the paper, but we see. I will go over. Um, I will go and see and. I like that. Oh, I love that to make such thing. That are roses. No, I don't want. Mm, don't want the roses. Maybe this one. No, this one. I want another color. No, I make a, a cup of paper more, and then I'm putting in the. I will a little bit move it a little bit. Can also a little bit um, pour it out, but I think and press and let's make some splatters just for fun, or make or put some. Leaves over the top here. Yeah, that's enough. Now let's put it in an oven and here we make another one. It's now it's dry, this other one not dry. You see it's very fast it's very fast. I have here an um violet, very dark one, then uh ochre, yellow ochre I think. Yeah, yellow ochre and here it's is a 
Teal one. I don't see. Yeah. Let's try and see what we what um we can do here. So I grab a paper and I will spritz it with the uh, on water. And the other side too, because it will go Let's see what, maybe I will, no, I take the teal first, I, that's my favorite color. That's the first time that I work with this, I don't go, the pipette, it's not so, ah, now, <laughs> oh, it, now a drop. Oh, that, that was too much. Maybe I can move it and spritz it. And let's see what. Ooh. Ooh, I love that. Let's move it a little bit. some maybe yellow ochre in it just a bit just a drop I don't work with that a lot so bear with me a drop come on and then spritz it again it's very concentrated I see now let's spritz Ooh. let's mix a little bit with the green And I will put the paper over it. Oh, that was a too big drop there. Now let's put another paper over. Maybe this one. It's not alcohol ink, eh? but and I push. Maybe I should, yeah, <laughs> come on, it's difficult, difficult to work with the um, tracing paper because it's so thin and crispy, you have to Now let's put some over the some paper over the top. And let's see what the The violet looks like also just a drop, not too much. Ooh, that's a beautiful color. I should mix it with the teal just a bit. Drop there, drop there, and let's see. We can do that. I will split it just a bit and move around, and then we see what we've got. Maybe it will don't come out very so good with the onion skin. I don't know. I didn't try that yet, so. How I said first, it's an experiment and I will put um, 
envelope on top. Let's see. Maybe you like this. Push down. And ooh. And maybe like this. Let's push down a bit. And let's spritz it a little bit on. And I will put them also in the oven. And the result you will see later. Yay! Hello, hello. So now we you are uh, I show you what we've got from the dye that we made. So first we dyed with that uh hibiscus flower and some other red things and I dyed this ribbon, this satin ribbon and wow I hope we see that in the... Mm -hmm. sorry I have to mm -hmm. go and see if you see that yes you see that, it's beautiful I love that so um, these are made with the pocket method so yeah, gorgeous. That's a um, magenta pink, I should say. And the, this one is a little bit more gray. I will use them for the journal that I am up to make. Yeah, this gray, I love this gray. Beautiful. So that all the, that's, um, yeah, all of this. things and that's also that I need I love that it's so beautiful and oh and this one this toil is I don't know I'm very in love with that one <clears throat> sorry it's a beautiful one and this one too it's a very beautiful gray and beautiful patterns you see a little bit darker and then I love this and this yeah it's very fragile so but I don't care I can use them anyway so and that tag oh I love this two here uh, this pattern maybe you see yeah I have to zoom manually yeah so oh this one is too beautiful these are um yeah you see that these are um index cards and this are oh that's one that one very went very dark but i like it it's a, so it's a lila grayish color. I love that. It came very very beautiful. That's uh, two of this envelope I made. One is very also very dark on this side and very this uh, yeah indent or whatever. <laughs> and this was watercolor paper. On this side like this oh I love that so beautiful these two and on the other side it's, uh, it's also beautiful <laughs> wow this one it's like a, a, a print from a, a leopard and these are the paper these are tracing paper Beautiful papers with that. Oh, I love. I made this with the spritzing method, and I leave it to dry on in the oven. And you see the dark edges here. I love them. I hope you see them. No, here. Here too. Some. Ripped, <laughs> but I don't care. 
I use them for all, for a base, for, yeah, you name it. I love to dye paper. This is a, a very grayish violet or grayish lila color here. In real, I think it's much beautiful and these dark spots everywhere. I should um, turn it like this so you see that better. Love that. Yeah, came out very, very, very good. And I ironed them. Oh, this edge is also beautiful. And I ironed them. Oh, that's too. That's also a violet with um, a doily, I think it was. Yeah. An index card on top. Love it. Yeah. These two. These edges. I love these edges here. This is very light, but you see the doily that I put here. And I spritzed over very lightly. Oh, beautiful that one. I hope you see that. Oh, no. Yeah, it's, it's very, very difficult to show that in camera, handy camera, but I have a new one. I have to buy the memory, uh, the uh, card to um, save the videos. Beautiful, that one, too. It was doily, too. And that one, yeah, that was, that was a little bit too much of this tea. But I like them anyway, I don't know. This one too. I very much experimented on that one here. And this I put tea back over. You see that doing that? You see me that doing. So it's beautiful too. And here I love that. The color is so beautiful. Love it. I love this color. These two also with the tea bag almost painted on. Oops. And this one are, I don't know. Ah, that was a, a, a lace, a ribbon lace, I think. And this one only spritzing on. But it's also beautiful because here it's grayish and there it's a little bit of a lila and what do you do? And that's the last one of this dye. So I'm very happy with that. I put them away and show you the um, red onion peel dye. That's a beautiful color too, but I don't um, need it now, so I don't um, dye it a lot. But I love this color because you can use them on a nature journal or it's a green yellowish color. I love that. It's also beautiful very much. And some I dyed with um, these inks here, but I don't like it. It's too much for me. It's too vibrant, I should say, for me with this. I colored them and this uh, yellow ochre, but it's very strong. They are very concentrated colors, so I made only one, two of these, and then only this uh, peel. Uh, yeah, that's a doily, as you see, and the tag. It's also beautiful. I, yeah, I can explain. It's an olive green color, and on some paper I put the peel, uh, the peel uh, on top to soak it in in the paper. You see them. That's a uh, very light, and with other dyes envelope.
this one is with that um, acrylic inks this one I like but not this tracing paper that's a ribbon band and a little bit of cheesecloth like the other ones another two doilies a hard one it's also beautiful and a round one so we can do it with that something now that is also with the acrylic inks this one too i think i'm not sure now let's see that's the paper also with acrylic and yeah you see that it's very vibrant only a drop and yeah i had not the control of it like the natural dyes here too i love it the, i should take turn it so you see it better like this this is too much for me too blotchy blotchy whatever this one is beautiful and this is only with the peel and i love that too so this here too and this one i think i put the liquid in and yeah soak it through and leave it on the tray in the oven to dry not all but some i did with this technique this one was the peel on the top and love it on both sides this was the peel of the red onion these two <laughs> love it how it came out oh oh yes these two it's very green i love that that nature green oh that one is i didn't see that first this one is beautiful. I hope you see that. Oh yeah, that's very beautiful. Love it. It's very dark. And also with the peel on it and oh this one too, that was a doily. It's also a grayish green color. And that one with the tag and an index card and the edge is very dark oops i should go a little bit faster no this one is the last one of this um onion peel die now this one is my favorite of course with the avocado peel and stone in lovely uh, how should i say rose color this one is a how should i say i lit ribbon <laughs> i love that color you can mix it also with that um red cabbage one and you get a um, violet i show you after then the cheesecloth, little um, index cards. So, yeah, not very special here, but I need them. Oh, that's one, that one is beautiful. Love it. Only a splash too. Yeah. Then a tag. It's also beautiful. I have now a, mic a microphone. And uh, I think you hear me a lot better than first, than the last videos. So, oh, that one is beautiful because it's very even dyed. Oh, love it. This one too. Wow. And this one. Oh, that one. I didn't see <laughs> and I didn't dye. I can dye them later. And this one. Then uh, book pages, I died some, written in German, oh that one I loved, it's watercolor paper, and I uh, put my stencil here, it's a round stencil, and it came out very beautiful, 
Then um, music paper, of course, that I couldn't miss. It comes for me in all of these junk journals that I make. And this one is also written and, yeah, some use, uh, some person used that one very often, that book, that, yeah. And here also it's a ribbon. Wow, that's very beautiful, that one here, with these edges, crispy edges. Also with a doily. And here I... Oh, that are... Um, prints of the um, music paper. I hope you see that. I hope. Mm. But... Yeah, also the doily, very much green one, I don't know if I mix them with the red onion peel. These are beautiful, love these, these are very, also with the stencil, yeah, very dark, two index cards on it, and Mm, sorry, <laughs> and this one I love it because it's um, folded, but this is I think onion peel and not um, avocado. This is in the wrong place. Now the last one is with uh, red cabbage, and some I mixed with um, with a little bit of the avocado dye. <laughs> Now, that's, yeah, very light. I think I will dye them again, maybe. The tag, uh, ribbon, uh, cheesecloth. It's very beautiful baby blue here. Yeah, the ribbon here. And index cards, some little ones. And book pages. And the watercolor paper, very light. Maybe it's a little bit too light, but we'll see. Then the music paper again. Beautiful, love it. And oops, other papers. Yeah, very dark one. Also, the edges um, are very dark. And this one. This one. This I mix with, um, you see, with, um, yeah, avocado and red cabbage. <laughs> Love it. These two. With the stencil. And the last one, I love this one because of the, I fold it and it went very beautiful, love it. So I hope you like them too and yeah, that is, that is all I have for you today. So I see you the next time. Bye everyone.